The next speaker is Honorable Nasela. Uh, thank you, Chairperson, Honorable Members, young people of South Africa. With many in the ruling party losing sight of the real challenges confronting young people, South Africa is in the wrong hands. The ruling party is obsessed with phrases and names when discussing economic situation confronting South Africa. They worry much about whether unemployment problem in South Africa could be resolved through a youth wage subsidy, which we as the DA are proposing. Or should it be under the auspices of a job seeker grant, which the ANC in Mangaung proposed and resolved? Or should it be under the newly formed and revised youth, em youth employment incentives? No matter what you, what you choose to say, Mr. President, just remember one thing and only one thing, that South African youth will not be patient for a very long time. Mr. Speaker, allow me to address Mr. President in absentia. Mr. President, speeches like those made over the weekend at the Tokyo International Conference on Africa would not yield jobs. It takes more action than speeches to develop a nation. South Africa needs doers, not actors or speakers. Mere speaking does not mean deliver. Unlike the DA, the ANC keeps on talking and making empty promises and promises nothing else but promises. We are tired of speeches. We need action, action, and more action. That is the words, the direct words of the youth of South Africa today. The NYTA is failing on its mandate, Chepesin. 20 million rands planned for the funding of small businesses in the, in the year under review, 2011-12 financial year. Only 0 0.8 million spent on such a, a portion of funding. This accounts for 95.9% of the total budget aimed at helping young people. And this has gone unspent, affecting young people that we should have helped to go as entrepreneurs. Youth at the center of economic opportunities remain a doom. Chairperson, I also need to say that there's something that we need to learn elsewhere in the world. Where I've taken some very good time to look at the research done by Harvard University and the work that they have done to assess the problem confronting our work environment, that the challenge in actual fact is similar to our own challenges in South Africa. That universities and in general institutions of higher learning are producing students who are not ready for the workplace or students who are not necessarily possessing the skills that are required in the various sectors of the employment field. Now, how do you then fix that situation, which I think we should take lessons from the report that Harvard University has produced? Uh, Chairperson, we need to go deeper than the current situation that we are confronted with, where we simply come here and make speeches and listen to the young people from Libote, uh, the young people from Tabanchu, and the young people from Ngamakwe, and people from Etzanini, who are saying, who are saying they do not know what the NYTA is doing for them. The only time they see NYTA is when there is a rally organized for the ANC. And the only time they see something being spoken about, about them, it's when ministers are making speeches, like the minister was making a speech here before me, saying that we intend to do one, two, and three for young people. The reality is, to what extent is that translating into the creation of jobs? Instead of the mere speeches that you make in this podium, we need to be more serious than that. The announcement that three billion rands 
has been allocated to ITC and SEFA. And then you then put NYTA in the equation. I wonder what kind of young people are listening to every day. I invite you to listen to what young people are saying. Give them direct funds. Don't go via the conduit of NYTA. Because the NYTA is not taking its mandate seriously. Right now, as you look at the report of financial year 2011-12, now how do you then take the same NYTA and charge it with the responsibility of 3 billion rands having failed to deliver 20 million rands to young people? Now it's a problem. I'm sure you cannot be trusted yourself. I, I want to say this. The Premier of the Western Cape has implemented NYTA in this province. Oh, you, you are not even listening. I'm not saying NYTA. I'm saying youth wage subsidy. But you are saying, hey, the ANC, the ANC has one lesson, and that is to see when the TA takes government in the Northern Cape, takes government in Gauteng, and eventually, and eventually, you will see we will go street by street, house by house, in villages, in towns, in cities. There we come. The TA is going to govern. Not this nonsense of empty promises, empty promises, and empty promises. I can say to South African youth today, don't be scared, don't be worried. The TA is coming. You are going to be free. Once upon a time, Madam Minister, don't worry, we are coming. Wait for the right time. Next year, you will see the results. Thank you very much. Order, honourable members.